This is the military base. Except I lied. That's the old military base. This is the new military base. Yes, I'm not joking. The military base literally has nukes now. Today I play with a squad of four people, everybody with these brand new military bases. Can this cheap intermediate tower absolutely destroy the fallen king? Hop into full screen, like, subscribe, let's find out. We're on moon base once again. New cool voting GUI. I'm gonna click fallen. I don't know why it says six people have voted fallen. Uh, that is not what- Eight people? Okay. I think VIP votes count as two. We're gonna try lining up our military bases here, so... We should have all placed the military base around the same time. And so that means when the cars spawn, we should have a little train already going. But they're slow. So uh, we actually have to wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to tell my teammates what to do here. And all right. It's update day. They've added a new voting GUI, as everybody saw. And mainly, they've reworked the military base. They forgot to put the stats on that. I'm going to report that to the developer really quick. All right. That's done. I... Uh, probably will fix that so the goal is of course have everybody in a game use well just military base we've also gotten this guy's placed down a second military base also oh there they go oh my goodness they're so fast now what the heck look at them right inside of each other boom we're of course playing on moon base the longest map in the game so that by the end hopefully we're gonna have just a train of tanks barreling down and then hitting the enemies and of course there's a nuke ability and by the end of the video i want me and my whole entire team to just use all of the nukes on the fallen kings at once just to see how much damage that does that's going to be insanely cool in the meantime of course got to do the hard work the boring stuff which is farming i brought dj commander uh, electroshocker as well to help out and is that three military bases all inside of each yeah that is and then there's this one guy who was slow at our one two three you weren't paying attention but it's close enough i mean when we have when everybody has all of their military bases placed down they'll be basically you know within this range anyways also all our cars died that's disappointing they do have a really cool explosion animation i'm playing on max graphics right now that's probably why it looks so good is this guy seriously asking what my youtube channel is um, i cannot believe this i'm unknown in tds that's actually crazy oh my god i was slow to that farm so this stuff is starting to punch through and uh we're waiting for the rat to start now we should all upgrade our cars and Car should be much stronger. Okay, we all upgraded our cars. This one, for some reason, is really fast because that one's weak. These two were upgraded. This one wasn't. So only Adder123 actually followed directions. The guy that, <laughs> that was slow last time followed directions. This dude already has all of his military base placed down. I don't know why, but we'll figure it out. Okay. We, enemies are starting to get far. So let's do some math here. Uh, place the, We need to do math quick, actually. 20, so wait place a car at 35 seconds i'm gonna get ready because at 35 seconds we need to place our car and then upgrade it i don't think that was 35 seconds but i'm getting the car anyways and i think that'll spawn yeah pretty close to uh my other car i don't know man it's starting to look terrible i don't think we're gonna line up our cars i think we just have to defend just defend to defend because otherwise we will not survive Here's a big train now. These are all upgraded, I believe, 60-60. Yeah, th <laughs> we're going to pack a big punch. I think we're going to push through all these enemies. I don't think the explosion actually does any damage, even though it might seem like it does. Also, i got to quickly upgrade my farms here. And do we just have a gentleman out here buffing our farms and military bases? Our military bases that don't even have a gun yet. Logical, but oh my goodness. It's starting to look pretty pretty stacked together over here come on let me keep farming though i'm gonna probably get all of my level three farms then keep upgrading military bases because ultimately you know we do want to see how well these things can defend here comes an absolute uh army of enemies here but we actually managed to take out one of the bosses still though we need more power oh i can't upgrade anything there whatever though farms are making plenty of money uh did we just seriously have a commander ability used on our okay I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I know that I'm farming pretty dang good right now. Also, there are mysteries. I completely forgot. We're playing on uh, Moon Base, which still has those around. Here's the super train, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try and uh, line up my future Humvees with this super train here. In fact, which Humvee should I use as a basis? I have a Humvee in here, so that's one of these. Uh, don't know. Okay, it's probably uh, lined up with these two. So once this timer goes down... Uh, I'm just gonna quickly get ready, place, upgrade the Humvee. And there you go. Now, yeah, they're all generally within the same time frame. 
The reason you want to stack Humvees is because, you know, when they, you get them to their gunner upgrade or the tank, life's going to be great. This dude got a DJ, which sadly uh, doesn't reach my farms, but it does reach my cars. So those are going to be cheaper. Oh, full destruction. Let's go. I wonder if the placement limit has changed. Placement limit was five, but all right. Wave is ending. Uh, let me see. Boom. Oh, wait. I can't place there. I don't know why I couldn't place there. That's stupid. All right, when's the next train? Oh, the next train is here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here's, a, here's a bunch of destruction that's about to ensue. Wow, we actually just kind of tanked those Fallens pretty well. Let's wait for uh, this car here. I think once this reaches zero, I want to put my car, upgrade it, and uh, that's five. But you know, the situation's not looking great. The Fallens are starting to get far. I'm going to have to start upgrading. Okay, I'm going to skip here. Please get me to $5,000. There you go, max level farm. And now... Uh, I think I just get all of these to Mounted Gunner. I only have enough to get three of them to Mounted Gunner, but there you go. That's going to help out quite a bit. Because Mounted Gunners, when they're together, they can kill off the enemies before they hit them. So yeah, that's the reason for, sta for stacking. And oh my god, they're all inside of each other. Do I hear a freezer? What am I hearing? Wow, okay, it's a Frost Blaster. Yeah, here's the army of tanks. Or they're not even tanks yet. Let's see the damage they do to that. Oh my god! What?! Wait, this is actually so OP. Oh my god, wait. I was I was distracted. Oh my god, we just got a bomb. We just dropped a nuke and I didn't see it. Look at this destruction. Look at this giant boss. This is like a free accelerator. And <laughs> it's dead. Speaking of lining up, I gotta line this one up. So let me sell it. And then when it's almost at zero, I place it and quickly upgrade it. There you go. Let's just get a tank. Every second, this army is gonna get bigger and bigger. Here's the tank, by the way. This thing has 500 HP now. Does more damage than before, if I remember correctly. Also, Frost Blasters are helping quite a bit. Uh, let me just upgrade my farms here. That's actually extremely nice. And let's see, where's our army? I think this is the army here. The army kind of got thinned out, though, because, uh, well, it, we sold and rebought some stuff. Uh, but now the army is getting re-strengthened in the form of tanks. Here come a bunch of glitches. These are pretty scary. Let's see what we can do to them. Um absolutely stop them let me go back to my uh military base over here give them some upgrades i think they're all still relatively lined up yeah they are oh my god <laughs> this is the spot i think they're all about to come out as tanks now yeah look at this we're also dropping bombs now constantly I'm, i might as well use the ability because i have the uh, the option uh see these buses over here let's use it and let's see what we do almost just kill them now like i'm not a balancer but that was pretty op I guess you're paying seven thousand dollars so it makes sense but that's pretty cool here come hazards oh my god i completely forgot these existed and oh i forgot the towers i mean the units like tanks they no longer get one shot by breakers i don't think and oh my god here's the line of tanks <laughs> here's the line of tanks let's see this damage that's pretty strong they they just all died though ah that was disappointing Okay, these are for some reason still not upgraded to gunners. Uh, gotta get that done. Oh yeah. This is the destruction t squad right here. Oh my god, I'm stuttering. Look at all these explosives. Uh, and of course, there's that airstrike. I think these guys are right though. Look at all of these military bases being lined up. Holy crap. Oh my god, they're all like in one train. We've got like a snake of destruction. Okay, let's add our final tank to that. Uh, uh, what do we even say? They're all like super concentrated right here. Look at the- look at the destruction! We push everything back into the entrance. Line up your tanks, guys. God dang. Oh, look what- look what just defeated all of our tanks. A tank. We just got a lot of nukes dropped. Okay. Nah, this is way too many tanks. What the heck, bro? And keep in mind, they're not railgun tanks yet. When they're railgun tanks, uh... Yeah, things are gonna be another level. Let's just look over here. Let, let's just see what they're doing. Uh... Yeah, they- they just- Wiped out like five giant bosses. And they keep coming. This is the longest map in the game. These tanks just... Again and again. The enemies... Once they finally break through the tanks, it's like, no. Uh, here comes another group over here. Now let's see if upgrading them to the railgun tank um, resets their cooldown. Boom. It does not. So that means our tanks are going to stay lined up. Oh my god. What the heck? Wait, what the actual... Oh, oh the, really? Really, Mr. Tank? 96 HP, okay. Well, when the railgun tank starts coming, that's not going to be an option. And by the way, um, uh, th this dude, excuse me, he misaligned his uh, tank. Okay, here's the railgun tank. 
I can't even see it. I see a thousand, a thousand five hundred HP. That's much more than it used to have. And that DPS also looks more than it used to have. They just all around super buffed the Humvees. What the heck, bro? I love this update. Back when I was new to YouTube and barely knew anything about TDS, I called the military base the strongest tower in the game. Is the Rogan take faster? It might be a little bit faster because it, it nudged ahead. Okay, enough getting distracted. What I was saying is when I didn't know much about TDS, I called this the best tower in the game because it's useful through all the portions of the game. So it's going to be good at the start and the middle at the end. I've even done a test where military base was the longest surviving tower. So literally, it survived longer in molten mode on its own than an accelerator did, which was just insane to me, and I thought it was the best tower. Funny thing is, I was kind of right, because the military base glitch existed at the time, where if you stacked your tanks like this, all the enemies would stop moving. It would lag the game so hard, they just couldn't do anything, and oh my god, these particles are insane. This is an actual war zone. Comment down below prediction on whether just the military bases are going to be enough to beat the Fallen King. Just to see if you were right, you know? If you're wrong, you can edit your comment and be like, Oh man, I underestimated the military base. Or if we lose, you can be like, Eh, I thought it was stronger than it was. But everyone's probably just going to comment after the video ends anyways. That's like, oh, I knew what was going to happen all along. So yeah, even though I just asked you, I honestly kind of find it stupid when YouTubers ask you to comment what they think, what, what the viewers think are going to happen. Anyways, that, that's destruction. Just a little bit, you know? Things are actually going nuclear. Look at my five abilities. Okay. Look what I just said in chat. For wave 40, save all your nukes and drop them on the Fallen King at the same time. This line of military bases that you're seeing right now isn't even going to be all the destruction that we're going to see. I'm so bad at getting a good angle. We've still got all of these abilities to drop, which you press H to drop. Also, let's just check out our DPS right here. Uh, that seems uh, like some eight accelerators. Not to mention these uh, railgun tanks can also ram the enemies to add even more damage. And now they're just being wasted. That's sad. Here's another group. Look at these poor errors. And uh, no more poor errors. I actually think there is a little bit of issue with lagging. Because you see some of these railgun tanks are like moving in front of the others. So some of them are a little bit laggy. Uh, let's take a peek at this DPS. Uh, they're unstoppable. The tanks are unstoppable. And a lot of these are the basic tanks, not even railgun tanks yet. Okay, maybe they are stoppable. But once my team maxes out all of their, like, wait, who's being slow? This this guy still needs to upgrade two. This guy needs to upgrade one. And then we'll be full, full railgun tanks. Oh my god, wait. We're closer than I thought. Let's look at this destruction real quick. This looks so cool. I also have $130,000 left over. Let's just keep taking a look. Now, now not even the tank can beat the tank. Ask my team what they think. Are we winning or not? They don't know, but I'm going to put my prediction. I think we're going to win. I'm confident. Okay, here comes round 40, what we've all been waiting for. Going to sell all of my farms. You know, these, these tanks are strong. Uh, let's help them out a little bit. Just get an Electroshocker. This thing isn't really going to do much damage, but it's going to, you know, get the enemies closer together so that the tanks can do even more damage. And now, yeah, we're, we're full railgun tank squad out here. Go, 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 go. Nukes, 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 nukes. That was all of our nukes. Just at once. That was insane. That was the most explosiveness uh, kaboom boom I've ever seen in TDS. Uh, and this dude apparently forgot to use his. But okay, here come the tanks. Let's see. Fallen Guardians getting destroyed. Let's see this DPS on the Fallen King. What the heck? Right, now let's see them crash into the Fallen King. Uh, he, wha what? Wait, this is so OP. These are military bases. TDS. I think you made them, the, the cars a little bit strong. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. Let's drop our nukes again. Boom, 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 boom. I don't even know how much damage the nukes do, but we're killing the Fallen King. Oh shoot, he's going invincible. Doesn't matter. We, we just tear through him. Here, let me show you how far the Fallen King last time got with all the units in the game. So, not just military bases, there was support from Golden Crypt bosses, there was Elf Camp, there was much more. Also, oh my god, he's invincible. Do all the tanks just die? Oh no, they go through him! What the- <laughs> What did I just witness? What did I just witness? <laughs> what the heck, dude? I don't- I'm in disbelief. TDS has never been this cool. I, this, this is my new favorite tower. That was just like- That, that was a, just a timed explosion on the Fallen King. And by the way, he's getting taken down right now. Like it's nothing. Wow, military base. Wow. If you're a new player, buy the military base. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see ya.